This video will walk you through the setup of your Benchmark 3000 test scoring machine. Your test scoring machine should have arrived in a white box that looks like this. Let's get you set up right away to start using your new scanner. Inside the outer white box you will find a small brown box that houses various components for the scanner. We recommend that you save all packing materials in case the scanner needs to be shipped at a later date. Open the brown box and remove the small white box and cables and set them aside until needed. In the center of the box is a green folder that contains important information that you will need to keep regarding your scanner. Some of the contents inside the folder might vary slightly depending on whether you are on a 30-day trial or you purchase the machine. The following items will be in every folder regardless of the program. When you open the folder you will find the warranty and maintenance agreement for the scanner. Please read this over and keep for future reference. Behind that you will find the Benchmark 3000 information sheet. This will cover the various options for forms to be used with the new scanner. Behind the informational brochure is a price list and order form for the scanner supplies. Price list will be helpful when reordering test scoring forms for your Benchmark scanner. Behind the price list is a clear protective sheet with a bright orange attention sticker at the top. Inside the protective sleeve is a calibration sheet for the scanner. You will need to keep this form in a safe place as it is reusable and necessary to keep the scanner running properly. We recommend that you keep all of these important materials together in the green folder they came in so they can be easily located. On the other side of the brown materials box you will find three ink cartridges. Set them aside for now. If the Benchmark 3000 you are setting up has come to you as a 30-day trial, there will be forms under the center compartment. Lift the tab at the center of the box to locate the forms. There are three different types of forms included. All of the forms can be used for testing and data collection with the Datalink software. There are special instructions attached to the pre-slug forms. Please follow these instructions on the front of the package for those forms. You can now remove the scanner from the large white box. Make sure to keep the inside cardboard protectors in case you need to ship the scanner in the future. On the front of the scanner there will be a clip keeping the Datalink software disk in place during shipping. Remove the clip and software disk. If using the Datalink software, you will need to install it to your computer before you plug in the benchmark scanner. Installing the Datalink software is optional but will provide you with more reporting and data exporting options. Datalink software is registered to the scanner, not the user. That means that you can download the Datalink software to an unlimited number of computers at your school for various teachers to use throughout the building. Doing this will allow teachers to come to the main test scanning area, scan their tests, save their test data to a flash drive, and take the saved information to view reports, print, and extract data from the Datalink program running on their computer in their classroom. This will free up the scanner and the computer workstation for other users. To install Datalink, you must be logged on to the computer with administrator privileges. Insert the CD to your CD drive and select Install Datalink from the list of options when the install window appears. Also included on the CD are optional installs for the scanner USB driver and scanner firmware updater. Scanners are sent with the most current firmware available. A complete document for using Datalink is included in the help file. New users of Datalink should read the help file to gain a full understanding of the application prior to using it. A brief overview of using Datalink is also included in the Datalink Quick Start Guide that accompanied your Datalink CD. After installation, you can launch Datalink by going to Start, Programs, Apperson Education Products, and selecting Datalink. Before the first use of Datalink, you'll be asked to enter a software key. The software key can be found on the back side of your Quick Start Guide. Enter these numbers into the appropriate fields and you'll be ready to use your Datalink software. Plug in your benchmark scanner to the AC adapter and the power outlet. The scanner should turn on and the LCD panel should read Ready. Your scanner came with three red ink cartridges to be used with your benchmark scanner. A new ink cartridge will last about 6 to 12 months or run approximately 10,000 to 15,000 answer sheets. Depending on how frequently the scanner is being used will determine how often you need to replace your ink. We recommend that you replace the cartridges at the beginning of the school year or at least once a year. To install the ink on your scanner, you will need to open the faceplate to the ink chamber. There is a rectangular door cut out with a finger tab on the top left of your benchmark scanner. Open the door and note that this door can be fully removed or hinged upward into place. Prior to attempting to place the ink cartridge in its harness, open the locking arm. 
Open the packages to the new ink cartridges and discard the packing materials. Make sure to remove the protective tape that covers the copper-colored plate of each ink cartridge. Insert the new ink cartridges into the scanner with the copper side away from you. There is a flat tab on the round ink cartridge which should be facing up. To insert each ink cartridge, make sure that all the levers are in the upright, open position. Insert the ink cartridges into their slots, one at a time. There are small channels to the very back of each ink chamber. Secure the edges of the ink cartridge into the channel in the chamber. Once you've seated the cartridge, you'll be able to return the locking arm to its original position. Repeat this process with the other two ink cartridges. Close the door that covers the ink chamber. Note that your faceplate door will not close if the latches have not been seated into their locking positions. You will need to run a test sheet through your scanner to ensure that the new ink is marking the sheets correctly and doesn't have any printing problems. Create a key to run through your scanner to test the printing. It doesn't matter which benchmark form you use to test the printing as long as you mark it as the key. After you have filled in all the answers on the front of the sheet and marked the key bubble, feed it through your scanner by placing it in the feed tray and pressing the scan button. When the key goes through the scanner, it will print the corresponding letter or number next to each row that has a mark. If everything looks okay with the print, you have successfully installed the ink and can continue to use your scanner. If you are experiencing ink problems, please refer to the online tutorial on troubleshooting ink problems. Your benchmark scanner is now set up and ready to use. For more information on how to use the Datalink software that came with your scanner, view our other online tutorials. If you are experiencing problems, please contact a member of our technical support team at 800-827-9219.